My lord, your slaves are about to finish their final trial. You might want to be present for this. Don't start the fun without me. I will try to wait until you arrive. My lord, you are just in time. The Acolytes should be returning shortly. There's something vaguely unsettling about Boneface. He's hardly said a word, but he's got a determined glint in his eye. Reminds me of you. Mogoto ni ompi bedwana, ni bobo, choba uma. Ah, there you are. My lord, it looks as if we were both wrong. May I present to you your apprentice? Ahem. <clears throat> Maybe I wasn't so wrong after all. Ah, Boneface. So you're not dead then? Zalek. Hmm? My name is Zalek. Carving, my lord. Slave scum! Did you not listen to the rules of this academy? You do not murder another acolyte, and in the presence of witnesses! I'm sorry, my lord. It seems I've failed to teach this miserable dog a single lesson. I will let you know when a new shipment of slaves arrives. It's all right, Harkon. I like his style. He murdered an acolyte in the academy walls in the presence of an overseer and a lord of the Sith. To top it off, he's a slave. Sith tradition demands he be executed. Do not make me remind you the cost of disobedience. No, my lord. But Thanaton will hear of this. My lord. I hope you're ready to fight. Always. My lord, Moff Valion Pyron, I am satisfied to report that the silencer is complete. But we have limited time to test it before Thanaton intervenes. The prototype is mounted aboard the Imperial Starship Doombringer. Meet me there. I have already invited the moths I feel would be most favorable to your cause. It falls to you to do the persuading. Good work, Moth Pyron. I will meet you there. Excellent. I'll have you know Imperial Engineering has outdone themselves. I shall see you aboard the Doombringer.
there she is. This, my fellows, is the future of the Sith Order, who will lead the Empire into a new moment. What is a no-name Sith Lord going to do against a Dark Council member? Thanaton will have our heads. Thanaton grows more insufferable every day. Our ancient and mystical Sith traditions will win wars, he says. Not generals with training. Don't worry. The next time I meet Thanaton, he will die. Then talk to me after he's dead. I won't stick my head out until I know it won't get cut off. Enough, Dolus. We are not here to listen to you bicker. We're here today to demonstrate a new weapon, codename Silencer. You boys may have heard of it. What are you drinking, Pyron? Thanos unkilled the Silencer project. Soon you will see an entire Republic fleet disappear, thanks to the Silencer and the tireless efforts of the Empire's champion. My lord. Moths, generals. Today you will see who holds the real power in the Sith Empire. Not the Dark Council, not Thanaton, me. When I finish my ascent, all will bow or face my might. Isaac, prepare the silencer to fire. Moth Pyron, my lord, we're receiving an Imperial signal. Doombringer, Darth Agilon of the Carnage requests your aid in fighting the Republic fleet. Repeat, the Carnage needs your aid. Let's blast that fleet out of the sky. Use the weapon. No, wait. If you fire the silencer now, the carnage and Ashalon will be destroyed in the blast. Darth Ashalon is one of Thanaton's cronies. Let him get blasted. You would knowingly destroy an Imperial vessel? You propose treason, Graham. The fleet will tear him to shreds anyhow. If we go in there, that'll be two Imperial vessels destroyed. My lord? If Ashalon wants help, he'll get it. Not that it'll do him any good. Use the weapon. Yes, my lord. I can't believe my eyes. I agree. You've made quite the impression, my lord. Consider us interested in an alliance of sorts. Moff Pyra, see that each of these men gets a silencer for his capital ship. I expect this will be a quite fruitful relationship. Of course, my lord. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Remarkable energy. Who knew the Silencer project could be such a resounding success? But capital ships are not trivial resources. Darth Akalon shouldn't have engaged a Republic fleet with one ship. Perhaps this ends now. I declare. A Kagath. A contest of mutual annihilation, pitting power base against power base. Whoever sheds the most blood wins. To the victor, eternal glory. To the loser, death and shame. May the best Sith win. May the best Sith win. Corellia is the arena. The Kagath begins when you land. Forfeit and be disgraced. Pounded to the ends of the galaxy by every Sith in the Empire.
My lord, that was an open channel. Thanaton broadcast the whole thing. He wants everyone watching the Kagath as it unfolds. He is well entrenched on Karelia, but the Empire's fighting a significant battle there. The chaos could be an advantage. With your permission, I'll transfer to Corellia so that the fleet can provide you support. That sounds more than sufficient. Yes, my lord. I will try to learn of any weaknesses in Thanaton's power base. Lord, I look forward to training with you. Welcome aboard, Apprentice. This ship is your home. These roustabouts, your companions. Yes, Lord. I don't suppose Harkin has bothered to teach you anything useful, like the Sith Code? Kill or be killed. An interesting way of putting it. That will do. Command me, and I will strike, my Lord. I've been thinking more about what Master Simon said, and I think he was wrong. He said you weren't a Jedi. It's only natural you disagree. Not about me being a Jedi. Well, I mean, of course I'm a Jedi. I don't need a Master to certify that. He believed we were wrong and that you were leading me astray, but he did nothing. Of course he didn't. He was weak. He knew he couldn't do anything. That's exactly what I mean. The Jedi's refusal to do what's necessary to fight, it makes them weak. The Jedi will never beat the Empire if they won't take the offensive. And they'll never win peace either if the Empire can't respect them. Peace is a noble goal, but it's not a means to an end. So you're saying peace is a lie? When it comes to making real change? Yes, I guess I am. A war rages and Master Simon meditates in his clearing. Personal peace is one thing, but apathy, inaction, these things are unacceptable. I have a question for you, but you must promise not to mock me. I can make no such promise. I've never actually played Sabak or Pazak, or any of those kinds of games. I was wondering if you'd teach me. It would be my pleasure. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. I can't believe I've never played those games before. My lord, I have incredible news. A group of Jedi have split from the Jedi Order. This is the perfect opportunity for us to win allies. Last time we tried this, it didn't work out so well. These guys aren't like Master Simon. They're hardliners, very anti-Sith. But their argument with the Jedi is over methods, not aims. Unlike Master Simon, they say they are willing to do whatever is necessary. Then they're our kind of Jedi. The main Jedi Council will never deal with the Sith unless he turns to the light. A splinter group is exactly what we need. I'm going to meet with them. I promise I won't be long. My lord, thank you. We have new allies in the rogue Jedi. But I couldn't have done it without your training. What did they say? They were skeptical at first. Like Master Simon, they would not accept me as a Jedi. But this time I knew what to say. You helped me understand. Sith and Jedi is an arbitrary divide. I don't know what I am. And I don't care. I told them the Jedi need to be willing to do whatever it takes, even ally with a Sith, to bring peace to the galaxy. And they didn't laugh you out of the room? There were some who remained skeptical. 
Their leader, Master Quintus, said that he would be unwise to turn his back on such conviction and determination. Thank you for letting me meet with them, my lord. My lord, I think we make an excellent team. Truly, Destiny herself has conspired to bring us together. Your help has been extremely valuable. Oh, thank you, my lord. I have learned so much at your side. My archaeologist instincts are honed to a razor's edge, or a pick's point, as the case may be. My lord, I think we make an excellent team. Truly, Destiny herself has conspired to bring us together. I'm sorry, Talos. I like you, but I just don't think of you that way. Oh, no. No, that, 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 that's not... I, I mean, I, I, I didn't mean it that way, of course. I have learned so much at your side. My archaeologist instincts are honed to a razor's edge, or a pick's point, as the case may be. Cruel nemesis, torment me no further. I surrender. I'm not worthy of finding Orcilio Gan. He was depending on me, and I failed. Are you telling me that the best archaeologist in the galaxy can't figure this out? The best archaeologist? Well, I'm flattered, my lord, but I'm hardly... I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say that. I've tried everything. I've even gone back to the medallion to see if my mentor left me any other clue. If the Imperial Reclamation Service knew how many codes I violated trying to decipher this medallion, they'd have me stripped of my rank. Is it possible the solution is not on the medallion itself? Did your mentor give you anything else? The only thing that came with the medallion was the chain, but it clearly wasn't part of the original. That's it. The chain was new when Orcilio Gan gave it to me. That means he's the one who attached it in the first place. Thank you, my lord. How could you overlook something so obvious? I know. I'm ashamed. I would resign the service entirely if it wasn't imperative I find my mentor. If you'll excuse me, I must examine the chain more closely. I'm confident it's the key to finding him. SIS agent who betrayed me. He said dead man. My old girl Casey intercepted an encrypted message. He's moving on Trandosha of all places as we speak. I've got a fly or I'll lose him. It's not as if I can stop you. This is the last bit of business tying me to my Republic days. This is the last time I'll run, I promise. dead. Was dead before I got to him. Lucky jerk. Turns out I wasn't the only enemy he made selling secrets. Imperial intelligence sniper got him. Guess he was playing both sides. I'm sorry you missed your chance at revenge. I only wish I could have gotten an explanation. But I guess he was just rotten all around. I'm done running off. You and Casey are the only friends I got. And, well... You're the only one with the ship. <laughs> I'm not going to start giving out hugs or anything. 
No worries. I'll still shoot a man between the eyes if he looks at me wrong. So, are we getting married or what? I didn't think you were the type to get tied down. Neither are you. Makes us perfect for each other. You got one part right. I'm not the settling kind. Is that it? Is that all you're gonna say? Guess I should have figured. Worth a shot, though. I can't believe you thought I would marry you. Yeah, stupid, huh? I'll talk to you later. Thanaton has challenged me to an ancient duel called the Kagath on the surface of Corellia. I've accepted. Marthwe Godzai Akran by Rwandans Ja Wan Jantans in Ufkunpa. In Pamelhap Vralat Forte Fuima Elizos Kaskaf Tais. Then I shall do my best to win. Anabudano was ni Panasibis Judawiskom Ufra Nenim Ja. Corellia's all out war right now. Imperial held, Republic challenged, and loads of resistance. Sounds to me like Thanaton's trying to beat you and the Republic at the same time. I must find a way to turn the tide of battle against Thanaton. Anabudbano was ni parasibis judawiskom ufra nenim ja. Moth Pyron said he'd be waiting surface side. Not my favorite guy, but you need all the allies you can get. My lord, Thanaton has wasted no time. He's cut off transport from this sector and trapped you here. If I can't move around Corellia freely, I can't win the Kagath. Thanaton wants you powerless. My fleet is on its way. But it's useless as long as we're trapped here. Darth Charnas can help you with the transport problem, but we need to understand what we're up against if we're going to counter it. He can't expect me to stay trapped. He'll have a plan, and I want to be ready for it. I have my best analysts working on getting you all the intelligence we can, my lord. My lord Moff Pyron, Thanatons removed the commander of the 115th of the island's outpost. He's sent Lord Scar to take over. Hmm. Scar is Thanaton's apprentice. Thanaton probably intends to secure a victory in the Kagath by winning the battle at the island's outpost. But I'd be wary. I will find Scar and I will crush him. With my bare hands, if need be. Thanaton's not an idiot. He will expect you to strike at his apprentice. Still, Lord Scar will be aware of his master's long-term plans. That knowledge could be priceless. 
Then I have no choice. Trap or not, I must strike at Scar. This may be our best chance at learning Thanaton's plan and confounding it. But I must ask that you not kill Scar until we can replace him. Without a commander, the outpost is sure to fall. Whatever you do, find out as much as you can about Thanaton's schemes. Good intel is key to victory. I distrust cities. Too many tall buildings, snipers' nests, ambushes. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Enough of this to your posts. Are you Imperials or dogs? We will consume this galaxy in fire before this war is done. Fall behind and you will burn too. You're too late. I'm the fire and I've come to consume you. I can't believe Thanaton hasn't killed you yet. Imperials, attack this Sith. She is a traitor to the Empire. Yes, my lord. Fight me yourself, you coward. Who said I wasn't going to? I relent. You can have your Kagath mark. Go on. Tell me your master's next move. Oh, oh, oh. Please, no more of that. Moth Pyron's fleet is your best asset. Thanaton plans to destroy the fuel refinery so the fleet can't refuel. Without fuel, your fleet is useless. The Empire needs those ships. Thanaton will be a traitor. Destroying a Republic fuel refinery is hardly treachery, even if it leaves an Imperial fleet stranded. The Salonian tunnels, 
He's using them to enter the refinery and plant the bombs to destroy it. Hurry. If you don't stop Thanaton, the fuel lines will be destroyed and your fleet will be stuck. Thanaton plans to enter the fuel refinery through the Salonian tunnels and destroy it. I knew Thanaton was determined to stop you, but this... The fleet is scheduled to arrive at Corellia shortly, but we can't refuel without that refinery. If he is allowed to destroy the refinery, you might as well surrender the Kagath now. I protect my resources, Pyron. You can depend on that. Get to the Salonian tunnels, quickly! <laughs> 